permanently connected to its environment, here's what it looks like. The car of tomorrow. In a pilot project, with 70 Audi managers taking part, much of this is already a reality. One of the participants is Jan Franke. His company car is a travelling data pool. The vehicle-relevant data are collected and analysed in Geimersheim by Audi Electronics Venture GmbH. Alongside the technical implementation, there's also a focus here on the practical benefits. For example, if I detect a pothole with my vehicle, the information can be relayed back to all the vehicles behind me. And I can not only warn them about the pothole, I can also adapt the chassis to the situation and have it drive over the obstacle as smoothly as possible. In addition, the study provides exciting insights into how drivers use their Audis. In the picture you can see all the Q7 vehicles in our fleet. We've established how frequently all the switches and pressure points are used. And if you look at the red areas here, you can see that the volume control on the steering wheel is used much less frequently than the green coloured volume control on the centre console. And that makes it easier for us to work out how we could possibly design the products differently in the future. The Audi is a mobile measuring station, which monitors not only its own technology, but also the environment. Up to 500 messages per second are transmitted this way. Around 6 billion pieces of data were collected in the first project phase. Data that is also of interest to third parties, municipalities for instance, who can use it to gain information about the condition of their road network. Or, in this example, we wanted to find out which radio stations our managers preferred to listen to. We clearly noticed that Antenna Bayern and Bayern 3 were the most popular stations at our company. This kind of data usually has to be collected by phone rather inconveniently, but we just see it automatically from the vehicles. And this is providing Audi with new business sectors. Also important is the issue of data protection. It's not possible, for instance, to assign a car to certain persons. There's also a so-called privacy mode. If I wanted to, I could also switch off the technology. It's quite simple. You use the SD card to delete it, or I can react to it with an app. So it's very easy to use. The project is currently in its second phase, in which it's now possible to evaluate swarm data in real time. This also offers many possibilities. In the future, for instance, we want to give the customer real-time recommendations during a journey about which restaurants he can visit or where there are great shops that fit his profile. The processing of vehicle data in real time. It's indispensable, not least of all for piloted driving. What began with a small fleet of company cars has long since become a big step on our way to the digital car company.